Yeah, tourists on the ship, everyone. Yeah, this is dirt road, everyone. North to uh, to the uh, the temple we call Bakong Temple, everyone. Okay, and this is a woman's house, everyone. Actually, it has two houses. Uh, so one house is the old one, and the new one was uh, actually was uh, supported uh, financially supported by one organization because she is one of the poorest uh, families. Uh, she lives in one of the poorest family. Actually, she's a uh, she's a single mom. Everyone who has a twenty-year-old daughter and also an older sister, older sister, yeah, I live with her as well and. Oh, yes, she usually has a financial problem because she can't really look for job well in the city. And one more is she does she doesn't have anything to do uh, besides growing water morning glory. And usually it takes about three weeks, yes, three weeks to a month uh, to harvest a water morning water glory, everyone. And yeah, Morning Water Glory is now also cheap, and now she's trying to uh, harvest it and sell it to the dealer. And then when the dealer come, you know, uh, they can wait and bring the Morning Water Glory to the market. And it's really cheap, everyone. It's only 500 real for a kilo. 500 real is about uh 12 cent in us dollar everyone us dollar is just only 12 cent for a kilo so it takes uh almost eight kilo to get one dollar which is really cheap and it's a hard work for her because she needs to get she needs to harvest your water morning glory herself and then clean it yeah clean it herself and it's taking hours yeah to finish the whole line everyone and this is a hard life. It's not really easy yeah, for her, who is, uh, who has no husband yeah, to have. And it's only his daughter, 20, 20 year old daughter, who has, uh, who is a vendor actually, uh, at one of the market, everyone. It's a hard life. <coughs> Yeah, she is 55 years old. Yeah, 55 years old. Yeah. yeah, people in living in Simri uh, almost have similar living condition. Everyone, uh, yeah, they are actually originally born in Simri and with their ancestor living in Simri as well. Okay. And please be informed that Simri is one of the poorest, yeah, second poorest province in Cambodia. Besides, uh, Simri has the world heritage sites and a lot of temples. Actually, the biggest religious temple in the world called yeah, the Angkor Wat, everyone, the Angkor Wat temple. So maybe some of you who are watching here has visited the Angkor Wat before. Yes, it, it is magnificent Angkor Wat, but uh, I'm not sure about <laughs> or why uh, it is the second poorest uh, province in Cambodia because uh, maybe only some people here uh, get an advantage yeah, from the, the temple itself. Okay, you can see the young water uh, uh, morning glory. Yeah. Uh, it's just kind of like, yes. Actually, it's a good idea as well because, yes, the youngest one was, I just start to germinate, everyone. Yeah, as you can see here, yeah. Okay, and the other is just about a week, yeah, a week old, yeah. And the next two lines is about 10 days, yeah. Yeah, it's about 10 days and that one is three weeks yeah 
It's three weeks old. And see, it's harvesting it. These are her houses, like what I told you before, everyone. The old one is from uh, her cell by her hands. Yeah, she, she's saving up and she's trying so hard alone, yeah, uh, to have it build everyone for her cell as a, almost like a shelter, everyone. It's made of leaf, usually, yeah, it's a uh, palm tree leaves, maybe, yeah. And this is the new one, which I said was hep, yeah, built by one of the charities or organization, yeah, called here, yeah, yeah, in the memory of Mr. Lim Wawi. It's not Cambodian, yeah, and probably the Muslim as well. And this is. Uh, we can see the Cambodian flag together with um, Brunei Jerusalem. Yeah, maybe uh, somebody from Brunei Jerusalem. Yeah, a country, one of the smallest country and very rich, very rich country in Southeast Asia. Yeah, so he donated some money uh, so that okay, uh, the people from a charity can help her build the house. Everyone, it's not very big one. But it's very okay to live. It is about four meters. Yeah, four meter and it's a five meter, four and five meters, everyone. And the house size is like this, everyone. And it is just, it's about four meter uh, from top uh, to the ground, everyone. Yeah. And there's also bathroom and toilet here yeah actually detached yeah uh, from her house everyone and all around there's another house uh, behind that one i'm not sure maybe it's another neighbor or maybe her relative but usually related because it it go the same way as uh uh from the road yeah from the street from the dirt street everyone and there's no funds to separate yeah, the land, so maybe yeah, it is yeah, her related, yeah. And what this is also a uh, very popular dirt road as well, popular place as well, because usually on weekend there are a lot of foreigners, especially from Europe. Uh, who has their big motorbikes, bicycle, even jeep, the old jeep car, everyone. And they just travel past here. And some of them have a stopover uh, at this place, you know, to see how people live, how people earn living, how people grow uh, their plans uh, to get some small income as well, everyone. Bananas, yeah. Actually, from what we can see is, uh, she is not a lazy woman, actually. She's trying so hard, but the problem is, you know, with the situations, economics is bad, so she can't really find or earn enough for her family, everyone. Yeah, she, she might work for the whole morning and it's take her days, weeks, and months, and she may earn only between uh, $5 to $10 a day. And imagine that if she can get all of this, uh, and if she can harvest all of this morning water glory, okay, just for two days, so she may earn only $20. And what about the next uh, week? What about uh, the next? Month because it take it doesn't take a day to just get everything done to just to just get uh, the full grown uh, morning water glory for sale so that it's not yeah 
Okay, thank you for watching everyone. See you later with the uh, video from our villagers. Thank you very much.